Welcome back to my channel everyone. Thank you so much for being here. In today's video, I'm going to share uh, with you a few of my favorite fragrances I am loving at the moment. And it's not your traditional go-to. I am going to be sharing with you my top five fragrances, not from my collection, but from Hit. Thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you being here. If you are new to my channel, I am Velma and this is Velma's Essence. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you some of my favorite fragrances that belong on his tray, but I swiped them a few times and I am thoroughly enjoying them on me. So if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click that notification bell and hit a thumbs up so you can help me. All right, everyone, let's go ahead and get started. So I decided to do something different. There have been so many different fragrances that we have collected over the last couple of years. And there are some that are traditionally for men, for women, and that's how they're marketed. Some are marketed as unisex, and then some are just gender neutral. And for that, I really appreciate the fragrance industry for allowing all of us to experience whatever fragrance we want to wear, right? So let's say I'm going to go to the department store and these are traditionally labeled men's fragrances. Well, you know what? I'm not gonna shy away from that. I'm not gonna move away from those fragrances because there are some notes in men's fragrances that I thoroughly enjoy. Having smelled them on my husband, I would think that maybe it's too masculine, maybe it's leaning too heavy on the skin for someone like me. However, during the winter months here where I live, it can get pretty cold and it fluctuates throughout the month. So there's sometimes I wanna wear something a little light, a little fresh, a little cleaner. Sometimes on those cold winter nights, I want something that's gonna bring warmth and coziness and some spicy aspects to my fragrance. I want that cozy vibe. I want comfort. Knowing what I know from my husband's fragrances, I reached for a few and I tried them out on my skin. And let me tell you, one of my viewers always talked about her wearing this particular fragrance. And every time he was wearing it, it seemed that she was wearing it as well. And I thought, you know what? I need to give it a shot myself because I really enjoy the fragrance. It's a very luxurious, it makes you feel special. And I thought, you know what? Let's give it a try and see what it's like on the skin. So the first one I wanna to talk to you about is my absolute favorite, and you've heard me mention it before, but this is Gucci Last Day of Summer. I have been wearing this one for the last couple of weeks because it has been colder at night and I wanted something warm and comforting. Last day of summer brings that comfort to me. It's woody, it's aromatic, has a little bit of patchouli and it's an earthiness. I think of those times when I wanna cozy up with a good book, a nice blanket, the fireplace is on and I have Gucci last day of summer. With this fragrance, I can wear it when I wanna be casual. I can wear it when I wanna have date night. For me, it is so luxurious, so creamy, so earthy, and it brings that cozy vibe and that cozy nature. So I know it's primarily for men. You've gotta give this a shot if you are not into those floral fragrances, if you like something a little bit more woody in nature, if you like something a little bit spicy and earthy, because those fragrances like By the Fireplace and Jazz Club, they have that boozy tobacco um, nature to it, and I love that. I love that on me. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna give this a try. It worked out beautifully. It's sexy, it's creamy, it's cozy and seductive. Gucci, last day of summer. 
The next one in his collection that I wore that I thoroughly enjoyed was, it's considered a unisex fragrance, but to me, on him, it smells very different than it would on me. But this is Nisha Ne Ani. It is the warm and spicy vanillic creaminess that I love so much from Ani. But on him, it definitely smells more woody. But on me, it's sweeter, it's fruitier, it's creamy, and it's just so luscious. I love Ani for the winter time, and this is perfect for those cozy nights when you want to stay in. Catch a good movie, cozy up on the couch, read a good book, whatever it is that your heart desires, this will bring you some comfort and some joy. The next one that is something that I have been drawn to, Jeanette, who watches me all the time. I love her so very much. She usually joins us on our happy hour. She has told me she wears this fragrance often, and it is Herod by Parfums de Marly. I wanted to give it a shot because I have always loved it on my husband, but I've never tried it on myself. And I thought this is the perfect time for me to do that because the days have been cooler, the nights have been cold, it's been crisp, perfect time for me to experience a fragrance with tobacco and spices and warmth and depth. And so I gave it a shot on my skin. I've been wearing this one all evening and it has developed beautifully. I can smell the cinnamon. It's a little, a slight powdery nature on my skin. Now, I don't smell it as powdery on my husband, but I do smell a little bit of creaminess when he wears it. It's mostly the vanilla and the vetiver with the cedar, the crisp, woody nature of cedar that I smell. What makes this so beautiful is the cinnamon, the incense, and the labdamum. It is so sexy, so alluring, and it brings about a comfort. It smells so beautiful on my skin and something I will definitely be using more often. This is Herod by Parfums de Marly. Now, the next three that I'm going to talk about are considered unisex fragrances. However, they lean more masculine. This is Zerjoff 1888. What I love about Zerjoff is, again, the same type of vibe. These are going to be warmer, more alluring, more depth to them. You have spices and vanilla and leather and tobacco. That's what's in these fragrances that I'm sharing with you today. And with Zerzhov 1888, what's nice about this one, and I can see where it has more of a feminine aspect to it as opposed to the other ones, which were definitely more masculine to me. It's because they do have some florals in here, yellow floral, some like powdery nature to it, rose. <sighs> Serious. Oh my goodness. It's been a while. 1888 by Zerzhov. Smells so good on the skin. It's warm. It's cozy. It's comforting. It's that same type of fragrance. It's that same type of vibe that brings that coziness in. This one here is 1888 by Zerzhov. Give it a try on your skin and you're going to love the way you feel. So good. All right, this is Zerzhov 1888. And the last one that I have been experimenting with, and I'm saying experimenting with, because I'm not quite sure I'm fully into this one. Because there is a stronger incense, a stronger 
I don't know, maybe it's the oud in this fragrance, but this one here is La Couche du Diable. is by Serge Lutens. This one has oud and saffron. It's earthy, it's warm, it's spicy. And I'm on the fence about this one. This one, out of all of the other men's fragrances that I've been wearing, this one is probably my least favorite on me. Does it smell beautiful on him? Yes, but on me, I'm not quite sure about this one. And I think it's because of the saffron and the oud. I think it's just too strong for me. When I wear this, I spray it, I walk through. It's definitely one that I'm going to want to wear very, very light on the skin, because if not, I think if I went in with full sprays, it would be too much for me. It's just not my kind of fragrance. I normally enjoy creamier, powdery fragrances. This one with the oud and the saffron, it's a little spicier than what I would prefer. But if that is you, if that's something that you enjoy, definitely get your hands on this because it is blended beautifully. It is a high quality fragrance. I just don't think that this one has been one that I have enjoyed as much compared to the others. If you've kind of exhausted all of your time trying to decide from looking at your tray, give these a shot. You won't go wrong with that. All right, everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate you being here. If you learned something new, if you found something interesting, if you liked just being here with me while you're getting ready or having a cocktail, hit that notification bell and give me a thumbs up. I appreciate you so very much. Until next time, with love, anything is possible.